Okay, let's start with the GX85. Very nice little camera from Panasonic. I really like it, especially at the price I got it for. Okay, this is probably the hardest one because you're going to have to hold down the autofocus, auto exposure, lock button, the playback button, the white balance, and then turn it on. It's a little bit difficult. So I think I do it this way. One, two, three, and then with this finger, I'll just go and flip it on. Let me extend the lens. And the way to find out and see if you're in the right area, so you gotta go to menu, and on the wrench, you're gonna see that on page six, you gotta be able to see where it says RAM backup. If you're able to see that, that means you did it right. So let me turn it off. Here, let me turn it back on, and you will see that if I go to the menu in page six, there's no RAM there. So I'm gonna turn it back off. Let me do it again. Hold down the auto exposure, the playback, and the white balance. And then, oops, Dang, it is difficult actually. And then turn it on. Now if I go to the menu, page six, ROM backup. So it is there. So now that you confirm that you are there and you did it correctly, now you go ahead and and this time press the auto exposure uh, lock button and then you're gonna hit menu and quickly flick to the left I use my thumb because while you're holding down the menu button you're gonna have to go to the left okay so one two and then quickly to the left and then hold it back again down and quickly go to the left and now you'll be able to see So anyways, that's how you do it on the Panasonic GX85, which is probably the hardest to do on. Okay, let's go to the uh, Panasonic GH6. So to do it on this camera, you're going to have to hold down the playback button, the autofocus, and then turn it on. And to check, to verify that you're in the ROM backup, go to menu, the little wrench, and then on uh, yeah you can see it right there ROM backup by the way make sure that when, before you do this always make sure that you have a memory card and take one photo you have to take at least one photo so that this would work now what you gotta do on this one hold down the playback button hit the menu and then quickly go to the left okay so hold down menu and then go to the left now that you're there, you don't have to hold down any other button. Just hit the menu again. And now you are now you are where it shows how many times the camera has been turned on, the shutter count. So let me bring my other camera. Panasonic S1. When Panasonic S1, uh, this is how I think you would do it the same way. Out of focus, hold these two buttons, turn it on. Once it's, it's powered on, go to menu, go to the wrench, and you can see the ROM backup. Now that you're there, do the same thing. Hold down the playback button, menu, and quickly to the left. One, two, and to the left. Oops, it didn't work. It didn't work because I haven't taken a picture with this camera, so I would have to put it on photo, take a picture, and now it should work. now it works as you as you can see and then again let all the buttons go and now hit menu again and now you will go to the shutter uh, count which is 4500 for this camera power power number of power power ons this camera has is uh, 1257 and i hope this helps you and this is my panasonic s1 hopefully this video will help you all and i will see you on the next one take care and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want. Take care. Bye-bye.